What if I told you that Democrats want to come out and give you universal basic income or UBI? This is money into your pocket every single month. Yeah, they are now discussing the possibilities of giving the American people and immigrants money every single month, just like New York City is doing, where they are giving low income illegal immigrants money every single month on a credit card, a prepaid credit card. Yeah, this is happening all because of the issues down at the southern border. Now, I'm going to break down what is going on in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. For months, I have been warning you that Democrats are attempting to buy our votes. But how are they going to do that? Well, it's actually by increasing tax revenue here in the United States and then taking that additional tax revenue and instead of paying off our national deficit, they're going to give it right back to the American people in the form of universal basic income or just additional benefits. Now, I'm not going to get into all the specifics there, but I want to address how this is now starting to unfold because I've been telling you this for many months now to be ready because the writing's on the wall and they're just trying to plan and, and put together this process. Well, it looks like they've done it. Now I want to address where it's coming from. And it actually has to do with this. The Senate has unveiled the National Security Bill and Border Policy Deal. Now, what is in this bill is very important. And I want to explain why. First, I want to read you a couple things really quick. Okay. Here's one of the big ones right here. It says, according to Connecticut Democrat Christopher S. Murphy, one of the lead negotiators of the package, the proposed legislation would empower the president to reduce the flow of migrants into the U.S. That would actually limit the amount of money we're paying out. So that's good news there. But it would speed up the asylum approvals process. That would bring more people into the United States. And here's the big one which currently can take years and expand legal pathways to immigration. Now, this is why I want to touch on this one right here. I want to touch on this because one of the things that the Biden administration is doing right now is they're trying to speed up anybody that has uh, anybody that gets granted asylum here in the United States. Guess what they get? They get an expedited work permit. That is huge because an expedited work permit then allows them to work. And instead of waiting the typical six months to a year, they now can start working immediately. In many cases, within one to two weeks of getting asylum. Now, I wanna read you these numbers because these numbers, these statistics are scary. In May of 2023, more than 1.3 million, million asylum applications were awaiting processing here in the United States. As of, just, as of November 2023, the number reported was just over 2 million. And today in February of 2024, the number is projected to be about 2.3 to 2.4 million asylum applications waiting to be approved. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, here's the reason why. First off, when the US Senate uh, border security bill includes faster work permits for asylum seekers, What's going to happen is people are going to start working quicker, sooner. But here's the issue. Okay, and, and I'm, I want to kind of bring this full circle in just a moment. Here's the issue. If more people are working, that means there's more upward pressure on inflation here in the U.S. As more people are working, what happens is employers start to get some of that power back. They don't have to give all those other employees more money to stay. Because guess what? There's people coming in right underneath them that will fill their spot for probably five to ten dollars per hour less. So they'll be making more money by hiring somebody new. Interesting, right? And I'm not talking about somebody from a new country, from a different country that has absolutely no experience. We are going to see doctors, we're going to see nurses, we're going to see uh, you know first responders, we're going to see uh, you know potentially politicians, we're going to see engineers, right? We're going to see all these people coming into the United States. Because again, our borders are fairly open. Now, here's where it turns into good news for the United States. 
if more people come into this country, guess what? If they are allowed to work, that means they can start making money. But by working legally, you are now paying taxes. The employer will have to pay taxes on some of your income, especially for Social Security and Medicare and things like that. So right there, this additional tax revenue, the United States can then go and reuse this money, right? So here's the thing, and this is where many lawmakers are saying that, well, with, with AI and, and all this, uh, you know, the trying to stay up with current times, guess what? People are losing their jobs. They're losing pay, right? They're getting less money per hour, or they're simply losing hours. Because businesses don't need them for a whole 40 hours a week anymore. Typically, people are working like 33, 34 hours per week. That's a full-time job. So here's where things get very interesting. Right now, lawmakers are discussing, well, if we're going to increase the amount of people coming into the United States, they're going to be able to work here legally, and they will be required to uh, file taxes. Guess what? We can take that additional tax revenue. We can take that and push it back to the American people through universal basic income, maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars a month, right? That would be great. Well, some say it would, or maybe we increase the amount of uh, affordable housing that's out there. Maybe we make it easier uh, for citizens to cut or for uh, immigrants to come in and get citizenship later on. But here's the big thing: if somebody gives you, let's say, a hundred dollars a month, wouldn't you feel like you owe them and you have to go and support them? in their future endeavors, right? You'd probably feel like that. Well, guess what? If Democrats go and bring all these people in, let's say 2.3, 2.4 million people into the United States, they say about 70% of those people in their first time voting would vote for Democrats. So let's say just 2 million people come in. That means 1.4 million people, new voters, are now coming into the United States, okay? That's just if there's, if there's only uh, 2.3, 2.4, or 2.4 million people coming in that are asylum seekers, current asylum seekers. Well, guess what? We open up that door. Here's the concern, and this is why some are very worried. For instance, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, he's warning that the Senate border deal will be dead without any amendments. And this is one of the reasons why. If we go and give all these people an expedited work permit, and we grant asylum faster within weeks instead of potentially waiting six months or, or a year, well, all these people are going to come in. They'll start working. We'll start making more money. The U.S. government will start sending out that money. And really what's happening is they're buying your vote. They're simply buying your vote. But the concern is once you open up that door, then the next door to open up is, well, if this worked out and this is bringing in more people into the United States to work, and we are increasing our tax revenue, the next step, logically, according to uh, many Democrats, is, well, let's just open it up to all illegal immigrants that are in the United States right now could potentially get a work permit. That means there's over 20 million people that could potentially get a work permit and work legally in the United States. According to reports, about 25% of those people are already working under the table. So that means there's about 15 million people that currently would be uh, would be able to work. So 15 million people at 70%, what is that? Uh, seven, uh, you're looking at 10 and a half million people, okay? 10.5 million people would then get a, would could potentially get a work permit, but also 10.5 million people would most likely vote Democrat in a future election. So even though Democrats might not be buying our votes today and for this upcoming presidential election, Many expect they're trying to buy our votes and trying to get more Democrats into the United States so that Democrats never lose an election ever again. Now, I don't know if this is true, but what many people are speculating at this time is that President Biden, President Joe Biden, is currently being used as the scapegoat. He's currently being used to get what Democrats want in the future because they know just by putting him out there, and if he is the front runner, he is the Democratic uh, nominee, he is not going to win this upcoming election. So we're going to see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is that it's very interesting what's happening right now. It seems like more and more people are coming out and saying that this bill that the Senate just proposed is not a good idea. 
will only make things worse. And it may not make things worse today, but moving forward, things will likely get worse before they ever get better. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I'll be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All I ask is it if you liked today's video, go ahead, click that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. And I'll see you guys on the next 